हेलो एवरीवन वन रात्र को भाव मैं कैन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्ट्स टुडे ऑन लाइव लॉ वेर वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड देन मूव ऑन टू हाई कोर्ट्स एंड अदर सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स इफ यू लाइक आर कंटेंट देन इट वुड मीन अ लॉट टू अस इफ यू कुड प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिगिन In the Adani Hindenburg conflict the Supreme Court today refused to take on record a report published by Forbes about share dealings of the Adani group on February 17th a bench led by the Chief Justice of India had reserved orders on constituting a committee to review the regulatory measures so as to protect Indian investors today advocate Varun Thakur the lawyer for one of the petitioners requested the bench to take on record the Forbes report stating that it was published subsequently however cj chandrachur refused to entertain such a petition and said that the court would not take the report on record the udhav thakre faction has approached the supreme court challenging the decision of the election commission of india which recognized eknath shinde faction as the official shiv sena senior advocate abhishek manu singh bhi mentioned the matter before chief justice of india today requesting it to be listed along with the ongoing cases before the constitution bench tomorrow however cgi dy chandrachur did not allow singh vs mentioning as the matter was not included in the today's mentioning list the cgi asked singh vs to mention the matter tomorrow instead the supreme court of india today considered the bail applications filed by the convicts in the 2002 godra train burning case The matter was listed before a bench comprising CGI D Y Chandrachur, Justices P S Narasimha and J B Pardewala. Appearing for the State of Gujarat, Solicitor General of India Tushar Mehta submitted that the state would be pressing for the cases to be considered as rarest of rare, considering the severity of the crime. He also contended that the case of convicts would not be considered for premature release under the State of Gujarat's policy, as tardor provisions have been invoked against them. The Delhi police informed the Supreme Court of India today that the investigation in the hate speech case over the Hindu Yuva Vahini event organized under the leadership of Sudarshan News TV editor Suresh Chavanke in Delhi in December 2021 had reached an advanced stage. Additional Solicitor General K M Nataraj told the bench led by Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur and I quote here the investigation is in an advanced stage. the voice sample report from forensic lab needs to come the supreme court of india has reiterated that an employee cannot seek alteration of date of birth in the service records at the fag end of the career a bench comprising justices v ramasubramaniam and pankaj mittal was hearing a special leave petition filed by southeastern coal fields limited challenging a bombay high court order which had allowed the alteration of an employee's date of birth The Supreme Court of India today refused to entertain a petition filed by advocate Ashwini Upadhyay seeking uniform age of marriage for men and women. The petition was listed before a bench comprising Chief Justice of India D Y Chandrachur, Justice P S Narasimha and Justice J B Pardewala. Upadhyay sought an increase in the age of marriage for women to 21 years, which would be on par with men. However, the bench clarified that the court cannot issue a mandamus for parliament to legislate. and that any change in legislation should be left to the parliament we have made a detailed video on this development the link to which has been given in the description box below please to check it out the supreme court today dismissed a petition filed by former ips officer sanjeev bhat challenging a gujarat high court order which set a deadline for the trial in an alleged drug planting case in which he was an accused the high court had directed the trial to be completed by march 31st A bench comprising justices B R Gavai and Arvind Kumar termed Bhat's petition as frivolous and imposed a cost of rupees ten thousand on him, which is to be deposited before the Gujarat State Legal Services Authority. Sharukh Pathan, the man who pointed a gun at a policeman during the 2020 Northeast Delhi riots, told the Delhi High Court today that there is a huge delay in conclusion of the trial and that only two witnesses have been examined so far. over a period of 1 year and 3 months justice dinesh kumar sharma was hearing pathan's bail plea in a case related to rioting and causing injuries to police personnel including one rohit shukla by an armed mob 
The Bombay High Court has held that Nalsa's scheme for release of under trial prisoners is meant to bring the attention of the stakeholders, that is the courts, to the under trial prisoners languishing in jail, but it cannot override the court's discretion to grant or refuse bail to such prisoners on merits. Justice S. M. Modak, while denying bail to a murder accused, observed that nothing can take away the discretion of the court to grant bail. Thank you. Keep watching courts today on Live Law for more such updates. See you tomorrow.